In this video, I will discuss significant developments, including a 50 basis point interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve and a major announcement from Palantir. Jim Cramer has recently changed his stance on Palantir, calling it a meme stock with momentum driven by individual investors. Palantir's status as a meme stock is questioned, considering its numerous government contracts and partnerships with professional commercial firms in AI, such as AIP. Jim Cramer's recent comments labeling Palantir as a meme stock are viewed skeptically. Additionally, Palantir has been awarded a $99.8 million firm fixed price contract for user licenses and hardware for the Maven Smart System, with an estimated completion timeline of five years. This contract comes from the Army Contracting Command. Considering the current developments, Palantir doesn't seem to fit the meme stock label. Shifting focus to price action, the 50 basis point interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve exceeded expectations, as only a 25 basis point cut was initially anticipated. This faster than expected move raises questions about how the market will react. While some volatility is expected, the market had already started pricing in the probability of a 50 basis point cut. The broader indexes closed slightly in the red, and further market activity is anticipated as uncertainty lingers about future directions, including Palantir's performance. Palantir closed at 36.38, slightly down for the day but performing well in after-hours trading, maintaining the mid-30s range. An ascending level of support continues to build, which is seen as a bullish signal, especially if Palantir consolidates in this zone. While concerns about its valuation persist, they shouldn't be dismissed outright. With current market conditions and interest rates, the stock's movement will be interesting to watch. In the options market, there's notable call volume at the 36 to 38 range, with even some at 40, though put volume has slightly increased. The recent announcement of a five-year firm fixed price contract is expected to boost bullish sentiment for Palantir. According to a The Street article, veteran analysts are cautious and hesitant to set new price targets, possibly due to uncertainty. The article also discusses Alex Karp's recent media appearances, where he's been compared to figures like Elon Musk and Steve Jobs, emerging as a potential rock star CEO. Karp is recognized for his articulate and thorough responses, making him an effective spokesperson for Palantir. Additionally, Palantir has added over $35 billion in market cap value over the past year, with the S&P 500 now in focus. Palantir's inclusion in the S&P 500, effective before market open on September 23, signifies a major milestone, adding maturity to the company. Palantir has already surged about 15% since the inclusion announcement. Investors are now speculating on where prices might go in the near future, with veteran traders focusing on strategies like dollar cost averaging and adding more shares during dips. It's also worth noting that historically, the worst two weeks for stocks tend to occur between late September and early October, a period known for market volatility. September has often been a challenging month for the broader market, so any stock dips during this time could present opportunities. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. Now that you've commented, let's continue. Analysts are observing historical trends, noting that Palantir has closed in the green for nine consecutive trading sessions. Given this positive streak, there's speculation on when a red day might occur, especially with upcoming interest rate changes. Despite potential volatility, long-term sentiment on Palantir remains bullish. The recent Federal Reserve interest rate cut of 50 basis points is significant, marking the first reduction since 2020. While a 25 basis point cut was expected, hopes for a 50 point cut were realized. This policy shift is seen as a major move, with broader market implications. The Federal Reserve's recent 50 basis point interest rate cut, described as a supersized move, was timely and not an indication that the economy is in worse shape than expected. Instead, it reflects the Fed's commitment to staying ahead of potential issues and achieving a soft landing for the economy. 
Fed Chair emphasized that the economy remains strong, and analysts on Wall Street are growing more confident in the likelihood of a soft landing. While some still consider the possibility of a hard landing, confidence in avoiding it is increasing. The rate cut is expected to bring down mortgage rates, improving housing affordability, while the labor market remains solid with a 4.2% unemployment rate and stable labor force participation and wage growth. Upcoming macroeconomic data, including existing home sales and jobless claims, will provide further insight into the economy's health. Upcoming data releases, including potential jobless claims and home sales figures, could influence expectations for another interest rate cut, with some predicting one or even two more cuts by the end of the year. The interest rate now stands between 4.75% and 5%, down from the previous range of about 5.2% to 5.5%. The impact on the market remains to be seen, with NVIDIA also in focus. NVIDIA's stock is currently following a cup-and-handle technical pattern, which may signal potential bullish movement depending on market reactions by the end of the week. This recent 50 basis point interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve has shifted market dynamics. This significant reduction is the first since 2020 and could benefit growth stocks like Palantir. The broader market sentiment is leaning towards a soft landing for the economy, which might provide a favorable backdrop for Palantir's performance. Palantir's valuation has been a topic of debate among investors. While the company demonstrates strong growth prospects and has secured valuable contracts, its high valuation remains a point of concern. Investors should carefully consider whether the current stock price aligns with their valuation expectations and long-term investment goals. Palantir's ongoing contracts and technological advancements suggest a promising long-term growth trajectory. The company's strategic positioning and recent developments underscore its potential for continued success in the tech and defense sectors. Investing in Palantir stock involves weighing recent positive developments against broader market conditions and valuation concerns. For those considering adding Palantir to their portfolio, it's crucial to align the investment with personal financial goals and risk tolerance. Consulting with a financial advisor and conducting thorough research can provide further insights into whether Palantir is a suitable investment. Don't forget that God the creator of heaven and earth is the giver of all wealth. Acknowledge him in your plans and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this, I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you, see you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you.